If you're looking for that one tip to help push your next turkey or chicken cook over the top, this is the video for you. Hey guys, I am Steve the Cookout Coach, and we're here to help you take your barbecue to the next level no matter what you need. Today what we're going to be talking about is my quick ultimate tip for when it comes to cooking anything like turkey or chicken. When we're talking about things like turkey and chicken, lean protein, specifically the breast or the white meat of these animals, the one danger you always run up against is that you might dry that meat out. Now we could argue about drying it out, what is the moisture, what are we actually perceiving as moisture, but that's a topic for a whole nother video. At the end of the day, if we sit down for a large family style meal and we get served dry white meat on either turkey or chicken, most people's desirable meat, nobody is having a good time. And that goes for the dark meat as well. It's just a little harder to dry that out. See, the problem is if you're not familiar with cooking a lot of protein, you usually go with what you've always seen done. And what you've always seen done, especially in turkey, but also in chicken, is the built-in thermometers that come packaged in these animals when you get them. The little white circle and red dot that pops out when it's safe to eat. This is sort of a big fallacy in the culinary world. In one sense, it's true. When that pops, it is probably safe to eat, but it's probably been safe to eat for a long time. You've got to remember that the companies packaging these animals, they really, really don't want to get people sick. To get someone sick because of their instruments would cause them a lot of trouble. So these instant read thermometers, these pop-up thermometers that we've seen, they generally pop much further after the perfect doneness of a breast. Which on poultry, turkey and chicken, we know is 165. That's the perfect doneness where we've reached full pasteurization, nobody's gonna get sick, but we've also got the maximum amount of moisture left in that piece of meat. So what do we do about that? The number one tip I can give anybody when it comes to cooking turkey and chicken, any fowl for that matter, is have a reliable thermometer. Ideally, you have both a leave-in thermometer and an instant thermometer to double check you, but I will settle for one or the other if you have to choose. Most hardware stores these days carry some variety of this if you can't get one anywhere else. Get a leave-in or instant read thermometer. Check your bird. When that bird hits 165 in the breast, probably in the 170s in the dark meat, the thighs and the legs, you're good. Pull it and serve it. I can't tell you how many friends I've had say this was a game changer for them when they got one thermometer to leave in a chicken and pull it when it was 165. Turkey is an even leaner protein, which means that moisture is at a premium. So you really need to pull it at that 165 and preserve as much as you can. Get rid of the leave in thermometer that came packaged in your bird. As a last resort, sure, you can use it if you want to, but I'm telling you, do me a favor, get a thermometer that you trust, put it in, pull when that breast meat hits 165, and you will have the best family gathering you've had where you've served poultry. If you're preparing for a holiday meal, I hope this video gets to you in time. And if you haven't figured out how you're gonna prepare your bird yet, meet me over here and let's talk about holiday turkeys.